Hi, how are you? Today I have a monster to pour water. This is the sparkling one. Cheers. Clink. Starting off with this New York and Company vest, it was a little too big for me, but I love the pinstripes, very cute. These pants are so cool. I love them so much. This X shirt, looking back, I really regret not getting. I was a huge X fan and I cried so much the day he passed away. I remember spending all day listening to his music and crying. I didn't end up getting the shirt because I thought I had too many black t-shirts, but looking back, I should have just gotten it. Hi, today is March 28th and we're going thrifting. Diesel's excited, so looking for like some shorter shorts, and then maybe if we find long jorts, that would be cool too. So, today we're doing a thrift haul. It's been a while. It has. It has been quite a while since my last thrift haul. Probably like a little over a month, but I feel like it's a long time considering most of you guys might be here for the thrifting. So, this haul is from two separate trips, and one of the trips was a while back. So, I'm going to show you guys that stuff first because you might have already seen it. So, so this first piece, I love i adore it so much you know the rack the employees bring out when they're gonna stock like the stocking rack i guess that needs to be put away that's where i saw this and i took it off the hanger immediately it's this little navy blue volcom just a little like volcom logo right there and then it has like the little tag it says it's a small like a men's small I like the little hood, the little fake layered hood. I do love gray and navy blue together. I think that is so cute. It is very like reminiscent of workwear jackets. So like Dickies, Carhartt, you know. I have worn this a ton. I like cuffing the sleeves to show my cuffs and bracelets. It's so cute. I love this pocket and then there's one button pocket. 
such a like cute little like skater-esque jacket Volcom is kind of known for their like surfwear skatewear the next piece I got from that thrift session was a black pair of pants I think black jeans are really nice especially when you have like a more neutral darker color palette like I do these so the tag kind of rubbed off a little bit and so all I saw was a two and it says extra high rise wide leg by Old Navy and I was like, okay, wide leg, size two. Like maybe I'll try it on, maybe it'll fit. Sometimes size two is too small, sometimes it fits. They fit really baggy, but they kind of fit, like it kind of worked. Then once I got home, I saw the second tag that says size 12. So they are a size 12, like women's pant. <laughs> that's a big jump from a two to a 12, but that's why they were so baggy. I did wear them super baggy, like kind of sweeping the floor at first, and then I hemmed them, and that's kind of where I messed up. I mean, it looks fine, like the hem looks good, but I think I hemmed them too short. Like, I think I liked the whole baggy kind of folding over on itself, sweeping the floor. I think I liked that. So, I still wear these a lot because they're the only black jeans I own that I like. I own like a Brandy Melville pair, but they're really tight, and I do not like tight pants whatsoever. So, I did end up ordering another pair of uh, black denim that I know will actually fit me because I feel also that the thing about wearing like pants that are too big for you, you can still see the super long like crotch seam. Like it kind of looks like I'm sagging, you know? So I want to get low rise pants that actually fit but are baggy. So also another pro of them actually fitting is that I don't have to wear a belt with them. I thrifted for my Avril Lavigne video. I've thrifted so many pairs of cargo pants and I feel like none of them are ever quite right. But it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Wyatt says these look really good on me so I'm gonna keep these for the foreseeable future, I guess. They're by the brand Unique, size small. 100% cotton, you know I love me 100% cotton. I think my jeans are also 100% cotton. Oh, it has a little like welcome logo embroidered in, that's cute. But anyways, they're just these camo cargo pants. But whoever owned them before me cropped them. Cute. I like all the little like details in the pockets. Also, whoever owned them before me when they hemmed them, they hemmed them by hand. I don't know, there's something so endearing about that. The fact that somebody took the time to like hand, hand embroider. Okay, so everything else is from this past thrift session session so i got this shirt which i wore in my last video and i got a couple compliments on it so thank you so much if you left me a nice comment but it's this little route 66 i think it was sold at like kohl's men's medium i'm saying the sizes so you can kind of like understand like how they fit you know i don't know like maybe you might need to size up i normally wear a small i'm like a bigger small so this is a men's medium i'm very particular about my plaid and I like this a lot. I like the contrast stitching too. I think that adds a very like 2000s element. And I like pairing like this more like masculine guy top with a more feminine underpiece. So like maybe a tube top, a lace cami. I think that's how I wore it in my last video. Yeah, I like that. There's a flannel that I've been wearing every day. <laughs> for like the entirety of winter. So I feel like this is gonna be the equivalent of that flannel, but in short sleeve form. I really like layering, especially like when you go skating, when you're not warmed up yet, you're kind of cold, it's a little windy, and then you start warming up and you're skating a lot more, it starts getting actually a little sweaty. So you gotta take off layers. So this is really nice for that. The next thing I got, I'm kind of like, I don't know, undecided about. When I tried it on, I was like, yes, like it's so flattering, it's cute. And then I got home and I was like, are you really gonna wear that? <laughs> I hate when that happens, but I already took off the tag and everything. So I at least wanna give it a chance because I liked it the first time I put it on. And if I don't end up liking it, then I'll it'll be on my Depop. But for now, it's this little leather vest. The front is genuine leather. It's by Wilson's Leather. 
I've never thrifted Wilson's Leather before, but I know it's a good quality brand, so. It's giving motorcycle wife. <laughs> but, I don't know, she's cute or whatever. Yeah, see, every time I put it on, I'm like, that's cute. But when I look at it off, when I'm not wearing it, I'm like, mm, this just seems like, like it was taken such good care of. The next thing I got, I wasn't really expecting. So actually this whole thrift trip, I wanted to find cute little denim shorts. Not booty shorts, but like getting close to booty shorts, you know, like low rise, very much like the size of a belt. <laughs> I didn't find any though. I also was looking for cute little like summer tops, but I also did not find any cute little summer tops, so. I found some layering pieces, I think that's fun. Add a little bit of interest to my outfits. I did find these in the men's short section. Don't sleep on the men's short section. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. They're literally perfect. Me being dramatic. They're by the brand Mark Echo. It's giving 2010's Burlington with my dad. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're so cool. They have like the little like branding cut and sew right here. And then like the same down here. I love when there's like just a bunch of random branding tags. I like the detail in that. And you know, the buttons are branded. I feel like not a lot of brands do that anymore. They're a men's size 28. I'm a women's size like 26, I would say, I think. <laughs> so they're a couple sizes bigger. So they have that perfect baggy fit i think i do need a belt for these but i'm not quite sure they're so perfect i love them look at these back pockets like the little back pockets and i'm wearing some brown ones right now but since these are women's they're not as baggy see these are like women's union bay like bermuda shorts i guess and then these ones are like baggy Ooh, kill them this would be so cute for a skate sesh the last thing I got is not very exciting, but I have something exciting to show after, so. But I found these cargo pants. They're high-waisted, and I don't love it. I don't love it. Sometimes I'm insecure about my panza, so maybe on those days I can wear these, so. I think having high-rise is a nice option to have sometimes. They're, I don't know how modern they are, but they're a size 4. American Eagles. They're 98% cotton. You know I love me some cotton. Pretty close in color. These are more of like a gray color though. And they have the side pockets, but like layered. And I prefer the way layered side pockets look than just one big pocket. So right before I went thrifting to get everything I just showed, I actually went to Barnes to get a magazine because I found out that Thrasher's only $5. Sometimes I'd go to Barnes like to do homework and as a reward during my study break, I would go and pull out Thrasher and flip through it. I'd never check the price though because majority of magazines are around 13 to 17 to $20 depending if it's like a special edition of a celebrity or something like that. So I just never like thought that I would be able to buy Thrasher. But for $5, that's not bad. You can buy two Thrashers for the price of one normal magazine. When I picked it off the shelf, I was flipping through it and I noticed a couple things. One, there are stickers. It's not so cool. They have mob grip sticker. I love me some mob. Right here, there's like the Gons sticker. He's giving a thumbs up. I love Gons Thrasher collab. So good. But the thing that really sold me on getting this magazine was one, Nora has her own page. I love Nora Vasconcelos. And then there's a page with dogs on a skateboard. How am I supposed to pass up some cute little animals on skating? I think it's funny because they're all like posing, standing on the board. And it says, it looks just as stupid when you do it. I thought it was also kind of fitting to get this before I go thrifting. Because it kind of gave me some like inspiration. Let's see, he's kind of wearing like black longer, longer shorts. They're almost capris. In this issue, there are some interviews from this Thrasher trip they took to Mexico and all my family's from Mexico, so I thought it was really cool 
Let me show you. Where is it? Oh, this one's a cool page too. Not related to the trip, but look at this. Isn't this so cool? I was thinking about maybe like pulling out some of the pages in like an early 2000s sort of way, like plastering them on my wall. Oh, look, see? It has some luchas. <laughs> Got the lucha mask. So, I don't know. I thought this was really dope that I happened. My first Thrasher issue, a trip south of the border. It's awesome. So fun. Sorry, I got I got distracted. <laughs> oh look, they have a Volcom ad. I was just telling you. <laughs> I was just telling you that Volcom is associated with the skate scene. And look, the black pants. There you go, dude. I. Guys, <laughs> I just got back from the thrift store and I found the shorts that I was looking for. I also found a couple other things I need to show you. I feel like I had such a good haul. So I got these shorts, they're Levi's shorty short. And I don't really like the back of them, but like it's fine. <laughs> like I'll take it, you know? But to go from like these to this is quite, quite the jump. And then I also found this Abercrombie and Fitch lace cami. I think it might be like newer Abercrombie and Fitch just based off of like the tag. It's extra small so I feel like it would be like super tight and like suck me in. Um, there's a little like, it looks like there's a makeup stain perhaps. But if I wear it under something then you won't be able to tell. I mean maybe I can get it out. Yeah, so this and then the last thing. Go in a snapback. I <laughs> it's brand new with tags. It says 2010 on the back of it. It like brand new with tags. It has like the cardboard in it and everything. It's 100% cotton. I love. Look at this little like. This is sick. This is so sick so funny i'm dead i actually have a jake snapback <laughs> confession so now i have both my jake snapback is at my mom's house but i like this one more because it's white and it matches more things tell me this wouldn't be so cute for skating <laughs> like oh wait like the whole stop stop let me try let me try everything on are you ready i don't think you're ready <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe the shirt's like super tight in like a not good way, but the shorts are perfect. They're literally perfect. The perfect length, the perfect like low rise. I would not wear it out like this, but I just thought it'd be funny to try it all on together for like the ultimate like scene I walked out of 2010's vibe. <laughs> it's definitely brings me back to middle school. My monster, stop, stop. I was already feeling good because I went skating right before and then the thrift store was playing like pop punk, like a pop punk radio. Normally when I go, I bring my earbuds because they always play 80s and wow, I understand that 80s are like classics at this point. I'm over it. I cannot, can, if I hear Prince one more time at the thrift, I will lose my marbles. But yeah, today I was like, wait a minute, I know this song and then it was Paramore, the only exception. I love that song. And then My Chem came on and I was like, what? And then after that, it was Avril, I'm with you. Oh my, I was like a whole bunch of my favorite songs and everybody was singing along. There was another girl and she was in like a black hoodie and she was singing, humming along to a lot of the songs. Like I would hear her when I would, would pass by. And then one of the older workers was humming along and singing to Panic at the Disco. Everybody was vibing. Vibing. <laughs> How did they pose the guys that were like, it was something like this, right? Oh my gosh, that's what it was, right? It was like the Obey guys. <laughs> Do you remember this or is it just me? <laughs> I guess if you're a, a bit younger than me, you won't remember, but this is so funny to me. I love it. I like actually like unironically love this hat. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Good night. See you later, bro fist.